Good evening, everybody. I am DadBod. In tonight's tutorial, we're going to go over how to recolor various assets in the game and then how to implement them. It shouldn't take too long. It's actually pretty easy, though there are a couple things that could get you hung up on. So let's get started. If you guys enjoy what you see, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We've got a lot more coming, so let's dig in. All right, so if you don't have a copy of the graphics dump, I've linked that in the description below as well. First thing we're going to do is recolor a tile set really quick because it's pretty darn easy to do. Uh, and if you haven't seen the implementation video that is linked in the description as well as the playlist with all of these tutorials. So we are going to open up atlases, go into gameplay, go into tile sets, and let's just pick something out. Uh, Summit. Summit looks pretty cool with snow. I love this tile set. All right, so I'm using a program called Pixel Studio. I use this for a couple of reasons. I know everyone has their own program that they want to use, but this is free on the Steam shop, though there is a premium version that you can pay for for extra palettes and what have you. It's also available on Android, which I really like because it's it's easy to just pull out my phone. I have the graphics dump on my phone. I can pull up and recolor things if I want. Now you're gonna notice a couple different things. You can just from here, doodle or draw or whatever you want to do. And then if you save this and put this in your tile sets folder, it will work. It won't look great, but it will work. What we're going to do for this, recoloring, you know, if you want to get tedious and just do it pixel by pixel, you can. There's a really easy way of doing this. So we are going to go into our palette up here. And uh, let's just find, you know what I want to do? I want to do grayscale because I think that would look pretty darn cool. Over here on the right side, we're going to see the paint can with a little arrow. What that is going to do is when we click a certain color, it's going to fill in every color on here or all that same color with the new color that we pick so we have black picked we're going to find the darkest color which is going to be this and then we're going to move down a peg find the next darkest color which is going to be this and then we're going to move down next is going to be this then you boom and you can kind of see how i'm doing this and then once we do that, it's it's done. So recoloring, super, super simple. Uh, and then once we do this, we can go in and save. When you save this, you wanna keep it in the original. If you resize it, you're gonna have a bad time. So keep it in the original. We wanna save it as a PNG. And then save name, I have it Summit BW for black and white. And then we're gonna save and you can save it. Uh, obviously you don't wanna save it in the uh, main file you want to save this like on your desktop and move it or just save it in your uh, in your mods folder and then uh, you're done let's move on so let's mess with something else and uh, see how to get that implemented into our game so there's a map that I'm working on that I really want to have the red booster bubbles but I don't like the red in the overall aesthetic of the map and I'd really like to change that so there's actually a way that we can change the color of these sprites, and then implement them into our map only. Now you have to be careful because the positioning of this is very, very important. If you put it in the wrong spot, it's gonna be that recolored um, sprite for every single map that uses the red booster bubbles. So we're just gonna open uh, booster red zero, zero, and you'll notice that anything that is an animated um, entity starts with the number zero zero and then it will play that animation through based on what's going on and the game will actually call on those depending on what you're doing so let's do the same thing we're going to load a palette all right and now what we're going to make sure that we do we make sure this is selected and we can actually just start coloring and just getting something you know, do we like the way that looks? You can also maybe uh, change this up a little bit if you want it lighter or different, just colors in general. Gives you kind of the ability to, to do whatever it is that you want. So once you've done that, keep in mind, if you want to recolor something like this, you have to color every single one. So in this case, we're looking at... Uh, for booster red, 0, 0 to 34. So you have 34 different sprites that you need to recolor. Now, as you can see on some of these, they don't necessarily need a recolor, uh, but 
it's most of them will especially if you're trying to do uh, like a madeline reskin there's well over 200 different sprites that you have to edit and it's rough so i'm just going to go ahead and fast forward after i've recolored all these and i'll show you what we did all right so now that we have everything recolored we are going to drop those recolors in our we have our main mod folder here graphics atlases gameplay objects and this is uh you can use this just to kind of base off where it goes in the uh in the graphics dump you just kind of copy the path with the exception of a few things so we're gonna go to objects it's in the booster and then we're going to the name of our map and then everything is dropped in here so you can see here is the recolor of booster red so that the game knows to call booster red into here now there's one last thing you have to do in our main celeste folder we want to go into our content graphics and snag the sprites xml and just drop it right here and what you're going to want to do is let's get back here so we can remember where we are you're going to want to copy some new information and i'll show you what you got to do here so back in your graphics folder we have atlases and then we have your name uh, I've already copied a sprites.xml to kind of show you what you need to do. So we're going to open this with Notepad. The first thing we need to do is find the original, and I'll show you the original actually, so we can kind of compare them. Uh, the original red booster in the uh, the modified one is deleted from the main body of this, and it's actually placed at the very bottom here. So we can see, we need to make sure that it's in the right folder and that it's pointing to the right spot. So starts at objects, so object slash booster slash seaside because that's where the files are. And you want to make sure that all the different animation IDs are identified in the right, uh, right spot. So booster red path is going to be where uh, all of the objects are. And then the different animations are just what what it's named and if you happen to name this something different you just want to make sure that you change that name so we'll be able to see if we search oops we search booster red we can find its path just right here so what we would end up doing actually is deleting this because right now it's calling on objects booster from the core game and we would just delete this and then add it at the very bottom right before sprites. Once that's saved, and actually what I can do here just to show you, I'll copy this, paste that in there and save. We're gonna drop sprites.xml into our graphics slash dad bod folder. In Ahorn, we want to go into our metadata and just make sure that the path is correct for sprites. So graphics slash dad bod slash sprites dot XML, update it, save, and let's load up Celeste and see how we did. Boom, and there we go. There's our recolored sprites in control Q. And um, I probably need to change the color up a little bit because it looks very similar to the green booster but maybe I'll just leave that as a surprise. We'll see. But just to show that it's the right booster, there you go. I probably should also change the, the color because there's the red trailing behind there. Although that looks pretty cool. I don't know, we'll see. That's something that you can also mess with too. So that's pretty much all we have. It kind of follows the same uh, guidelines no matter what you do. You just want to make sure that you're going in and redefining where the game calls that stuff so i really hope that this was informative to you guys and that's all we have until next time have a great night